the things you worry about, 90% of them, those worries that, you know, they're not real, they don't happen. They don't actually come true. Well, those things, you, you know, the, the, the everyday thoughts you have that can turn negative, you know. Guys, you know what, I'm so annoyed. The sun's at, supposed to be out. But where has it gone? I'm looking all summery out here. Sorry, that's my shed door. That door's about 20 years old. And that's very annoying. Hey guys, what's going on? We're back with another video, guys. And the sun is out. Or it should be. Where's it gone? Anyway, guys, we'll be right back just after this. But yeah, we're out here. Yet again, I've been streaming on Twitch, so I ain't been on here as much as I should have. So sorry about that. Even though I'm back, well, that's what my last video said. Um, I am, yeah. And I'm better than I was last time. Technically. Like, being ill kind of got in my head. Um, and now I'm better, it's like, Am I really better? At the moment I was like, nah, there's something not quite right. But really I'm fine. Just me over exaggerating. It's like PTSD or being ill. Um, but that's how it is. And I'm here in my garden waiting for the sun to come out. And I've got some good news. The podcast I was working on, the project I was working on secretly without telling you, is officially out on Spotify. Pathfinders podcast. Um, I'll put the link. I should put the link somewhere. That dog is annoying me. You can hear it. As I was saying, I have a podcast out with me and my good friend Sanjeev, and it's on Spotify. And the first episode is all about our football, like passion, where it stems from, what teams we like bit of football banter, um, followed by more interesting episodes um, that we'll get into. I don't want to spoil it, but yeah. Episode one is out, I'm so gassed. Like, you understand, when you work on something and it's finally out, it's just like, yes. It's a relief in some ways. Just glad, it, you know, your hard work is paying off. And I worked hard for years on this platform and the things I've learned from talking to you guys I took with me to this podcast and yeah it's only audio um, but I feel like all the practice I've had here has been immensely like useful so thank you for keeping me on here for, you know times where I thought you know what's the point of doing this but I'm still here doing it and I've got other opportunities, or given myself other opportunities, as well as been given some, like this podcast. Like, I'm giving back, you know, giving my skills up to someone else, which I'm, I'm happy to do. So I'm so gassed for that, promoting the hell out of that podcast on Instagram everywhere. There's a wasp. You know how I hate wasps? I can hear one. Damn. But yeah, I had a little bit of a, a moment thinking I was ill again. Like, the amount of stomach issues I've had. But it's a bit psychological. Like, I phoned up my, the doctors that I normally speak to, they're like, are you sure you're ill? Like, are you sure you're just not over-exaggerating? Like, overthinking, which I do a lot. It never occurred to me, but yeah. But yeah, anyway. I've got a few clips from one of my live streams where I was just talking a bit of sense, if I ever talk sense. I don't know about any more viruses. I'm trying to live my life without a fuel crisis and a war going on and like... Fuck.
I just live your life, guys. Fed up and worrying about other shit. I'm not trying to be selfish, like, you know, obviously there's a war going on. It's really sad, but like, what can I do from here? There's things I can do, yeah. Minimal things, but like, for every, like, white girl from a normal town in, like, the US, like, if they post, oh, you know, something about Ukraine, it doesn't re, it doesn't unexplode the building. The building's still exploding and in ruins, and the family still had to move halfway across Europe. Like, what you say don't really affect that. I'm not saying don't care about it, but like, you'll go mad if you worry about that all day. For your own issues. But yeah, the internet is kind of a gift and a curse, really. For younger generations. Like. But yeah, when I was a kid, it wasn't all about internet. Like, we'd play out in the street. I, I, I make make you. I make. I'm not trying to make myself feel old, but like it was before the internet. In the early days, like it was around, but not on the same level as it is now. Like not every kid has an iPhone. Shit, I remember when the iPhone came out. I'm not old, but you know what I mean. Someone who's like 20 will be like, "Oh, you're you're that old." It's weird. I can understand, you can't get your head around it. The older they get, the more shit you learn. And the more shit you wish you, wish you learn a lot earlier. But that is life. But then again, the internet is like also good for a lot of shit. But I've got to thank the internet for my YouTube channel and all that. This channel, you know, TikTok is helping me get more followers on here, on YouTube, and that, you know, what I mean, like social media, it helps. But like, think of Instagram; it's a, it's really a promotional tool. It's not there for you to say, hey, look at my life. It's better than yours. But secretly, it's actually not. I'm just pretending it is. That's Instagram now. But really, you should use it to promote your businesses or whatever you're doing. Side hustle. You know, not show off this fake happy life that you don't actually have. No, that half these worries you have, they're, they're, they're insignificant. And they're not even going to actually happen. Like with these scenarios, maybe I played that in my head about me getting in again. They're not true. Ninety-nine percent of those worries are just worries, and that's it. You know. And it takes time to learn that. Like I can't sit here and say I don't have all the answers because I don't. There's times where you might think you do. In my younger days, I, I had those times. Uh, we've all been there, but you don't. The fact, to admit the fact, you still don't know nothing, is true knowledge in some ways. Like if you act like, oh, I know everything, then you're lost, because you can never know everything. You know that's just naive. Like I said, um, and like you saw in those clips. You can't get too distracted by what's going on outside. You've got enough of your own issues. And that might sound selfish, but trust me, like, if you love yourself, you can love others. If you don't love yourself, how are you going to ever even get any further than yourself? Um, stay up, stay humble. Don't let everything get to you. Or try. You know, just chill out. These are things that I'm telling myself because I get so distracted. Um, and yeah guys, just have fun. Enjoy the Jubilee if I don't see you before that. We're going to go out and enjoy London. 
But yeah, for today, that's it. Thank you guys for joining me. Now to be a typical Italian and go and eat some pasta. It's pasta time, people. Peace.